Hello, and welcome to ASB TDC TV, a product of the partnership between the University of Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center and the Northwest Arkansas Council Small Business Emergency Assistance Program. In this series, we're talking with small businesses, experts, and ASB TDC consultants about the relevant and right now topics and solutions for small business. I'm Amy Robinson. And I'm Chris Case, and today we're here with Mr. Nate from Secondhand Smoke. And Nate, um, I called you probably in April just um, to do a survey, and so our, our paths crossed then. But um, we became fast friends, whether you wanted to or not. <laughs> and, so, and so I just remembered our conversation and, and all the good that you're doing, not only just starting this amazing business, but um, helping others. So can you first tell us just a little bit about yourself and then about what you're up to these days? Hey. Hey, how y'all doing today? We're good, thank you. Uh, so, uh, where do I start? Um, so, a couple of years ago, I started uh, Secondhand Smoke. Uh, it, it just kind of started organically. Uh, it started in the backyard uh, party uh, space, and then it just blossomed from there. So, it was kind of like accidentally. Uh, yeah. And then I started getting a grill here, a grill there. Uh, and so people knew me for my uh, soul food sides and I barbecue just a little bit. And so it took off from there, you know. Uh, um, and the nonprofit, uh, it happened the same way organically. I started something just to uh, have uh, spaces and food for nonprofits and stuff, just as an assistant. Um, and and then COVID uh, came, and then we uh, changed directions and just wanted to help some people, feed some people. But I've, I've as we go through this, I've I've uh, been doing a little bit more. It's done a lot for me uh, as far as it's just dealing. It was just the tip of the iceberg. The food is just uh, I learned so much about uh, people and and about the power of people and, and and the things that I didn't know and a lot of people didn't know and I met a lot of people um, in the in the impact of just talking to people and finding out what's really going on in our lives. Nate, Nate you've just you just said so much just right there. I want to take it a little bit piece by piece and unpack that a little bit because I think one of the things that you um, said a couple of times is this organic growth and you know a lot of entrepreneurs um, start something because they love it. They they have a passion for what they're doing. People tell them that they are good at it or that they love it and they'll pay for it. That's always helpful. Um, and so and so let's start with let's start with your business and, and what that is, what kind of what secondhand smoke is the core business is. Um, Cause I think you do, you know, a lot of catering and yeah. and then tell us a little bit how that grew into the nonprofit. And then let's dive into um, what evolved. Um, what evolved after COVID. So, so the core of your business started in your backyard, and yeah. um, and so what pre-COVID, um, what were you doing with with the business and the catering and the soul food and the and the barbecue? And so, uh, uh, secondhand smoke is a caterer, and and I do. I've been cooking for like forty years. And and I've cooked in so many different restaurants, and so and so I've been uh, blessed enough to know a lot of different kinds of cooking. Uh, oh, uh, so it's customized. It's traditional barbecue with customized uh, uh, sides. I can do soul food sides, or 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 I can do uh, vegetarian. Uh, size don't tell that many people about that yeah <laughs> well they're speaking my language thank you <laughs> <laughs> i'm a meat girl <laughs> i try to um uh to just uh run the business like i run my life the personal approach um a lot of times uh um it bites me i'm still trying to get uh, uh certain things uh, uh straightened out as far as price ranges and that kind of thing and you know, yeah. and you never want to uh shut yourself short but uh but i do want to give people what they uh, want and make their events uh, uh 
uh, good for them. Mm -hmm. So, so that seems like that was the bridge to the nonprofit side of what you were doing. So you were meeting a lot of people, um, you saw a lot of nonprofits that were trying to do good and you wanted to help support them. And yeah. so, um, yeah, because I agree, small business, we all have a hard time um, pricing and we want to do good in the world. And, and so you evolved into a nonprofit side of it so that you could, um, so that you could help support nonprofits. Right. I wanted to uh, uh, do something that kind of uh, uh, spun off a uh, secondhand smoke and uh, uh, because I met so many people in different uh, uh, I, I mean, so many different venues, and I knew a lot of people. So, so I was still trying to, you know, you know, uh, put my personality on it. Um, I had no idea that it would do what it's doing, but uh, it's been a good look. Absolutely, intriguing is you just you started just just small little bites and and taking it little by little and just evolving as you go. And I think we forget that with businesses a lot of times. We always try to try to perfect it from the very beginning. And yeah, the, the most amazing businesses that I have seen and I have started, have started by accident, like you said, you know, by somebody giving me a compliment and saying, well, you know, this is great, you need to share it. And then, so you led from your business to nonprofit and then you even expanded even more just during this COVID. So can yeah. you talk about how you expanded even more with, with helping people? Okay, so I, uh, uh, took about three hundred dollars, uh, probably about mid March when this whole thing started, and and just made a couple of meals. Um, and I wanted it to be a lack. But we were in the struggle, you know. I I did a lot of uh, uh, non perishables, and and uh, my money stretched. So, I, uh, you know, you know, my thought was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna simulate this. So. So I did that. It lasted probably like two weeks just out of that three hundred dollars, and I was like, "Man, I can sustain this thing." And so people just start donating and pouring into what we were doing. We got a couple of news interviews and that kind of thing. So, so uh, we built up a little speed, and and people are still donating, and we uh getting bigger. I got a chance to uh, partner with uh, Jeremy Gothrop from uh, Woodstone Pizza, which is is just awesome i'm just soaking up all kind of knowledge so um it was different for me to learn that kind of cooking but it's been um it's been good to marry that kind of thing and serve the public and it's taken off uh people uh uh there was a disconnect between people that had money and people that didn't and they didn't uh think that people uh with money even cared about them and then they find out that that all the donations are coming from uh, oh, people that's more fortunate uh, and that makes them look at people different too. So, uh, so it, you know, you know, it's bringing people together in more ways than one, I guess. Uh, I love it. I love that you were open to the different partnerships and, you know, not trying to, to carry this on your own because that's definitely um, part of the part of the challenge sometimes. And so, um, one, what is the name of your nonprofit? And then tell it's us a little bit about um, what is it called? It's Second Helping NWA. Second Helping NWA. And then you partnered with um, Woodstone Pizza, and so you're cooking out of their kitchen. They they decided to sh shut down for a little while longer, and they're just now getting back up and running, but they're going to only run out of one of their locations. And so you're at the other location, utilizing the kitchen, and you're also utilizing another um, area resource, um, Get Shift Done, that I have to say very, yeah. very slowly. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you better say that slowly. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about um, that and how and how that's helping support uh, the, the nonprofit. Yeah, um, um, I got with Jeremy Gauter from Woodstone, and he, him, and Melissa Terry brought this uh, uh, thought to uh, just share some space. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing it, um, uh, but they go one step further and and getting people back to work. And so that's mm -hmm. a big thing right now with the COVID and people losing uh, jobs, uh, um, even losing homes. Mm -hmm. So um, 
uh, through downsizing and whatnot. So uh, we're helping twice. You know, we're getting people back to work, and and they feel more gratified because they're cooking and the food is going to communities that don't have uh, uh, food, and sometimes uh, sometimes they don't even have uh, necessary items. Like uh, I meet a lot of people uh, they can't even afford just personal items, especially women and babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's. Yeah. So there's expanded services through what it is yeah. that you're doing. So it's um, not one-stop shopping necessarily, but you're meeting multiple needs um, yeah. through through this. Okay, that's fantastic. That's great to know. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about um, what we need to know and um, where we can find you and um, how people can help um, or utilize the services? Yeah, so... Yeah. So, uh, like I said, it's it's a donation first, like a non-perishables first, and mm -hmm. then we fall back on the money donations. I've got a website, www.secondhelpingnwa.com, and they can go on there and donate and uh, a volunteer, and and uh, and also if they want to. Uh, contact me and they can just bring uh, donations here uh, canned goods uh, non-perishables and, and what we do is just make meals with that so right. it's creative in a sense but uh, uh, it's getting people fed at the same time so um, so uh, my business is uh, uh, secondhand smoke uh, uh, dot com mm -hmm. uh, uh, secondhandsmokenwa.com. Okay. Uh, they can uh, go on there and look at the website and then, oh, oh we can create a meal for them. So. And that's what he did, Amy. So I, I did that. I've tasted his cooking and oh my gosh, <laughs> it is some of the best. So I am absolutely hooked. Thank you. Absolutely. So if you if you need uh, catering, um, but there's also um, the the nonprofit. And again, give us the, the information. So we've got secondhandsmokenwa.com and the nonprofit can be found where? Uh, nonprofit is a www uh, secondhelpingnwa.com and there's a donate button and all that good stuff. So uh, we ready Love to rock and roll. Uh, try to do some more good. That's wonderful. Thank you, Nate. Um, if you are Thank joining you. us, if you are listening or you are watching um, and you have a suggested topic, a question that you need answered or someone you'd like to hear from or a story like Nate's that you'd like to share, please contact us at bizhelp at uark.edu. That's B-U-S-H-E-L-P at uark.edu and put TV in the subject line. And if you're interested in benefiting from our free one-on-one -on -one consulting assistance, um, Nate does that too, um, please sign up at sbtdc.uark.edu. Edu. Thank you again, Nate. Um, you are, like I said earlier today, um, you're one of my heroes now. So thank, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you.